Greetings everyone, Brett here with Hammerhead Model Making. Well, I'm neck deep in the Tiger Cat, and uh, so it's gonna be a little while before I have a video uploaded for this build. So I thought I would take you on a quick tour of my workspace, kind of show you around and, and uh, how I have things organized. So behind me, you can see the workbench. I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can get a better view. So this is my primary workspace. I have uh, most of my tools ready to go over here in, in these cups. And uh, it's very high tech and, and purpose made, but it works. Uh, I keep random bits up here, uh, my paint palettes and uh, my camera stand and things that I'm working on. There's parts for the F7F right there. Uh, over here in this stack, I have all of my brush paints. And uh, for lighting, I have two fluorescent overheads and then I have these two light panels on each side um, in blue. I, I noticed that some, in my early filming, the fluorescence caused um, kind of a yellow hue, so I had to offset it with the blue. Over here to my right is kind of my, my main tool area. So the top here are the, all my airbrush paints, and you can see I've got various brands, um, Tamiya, MIG, Vallejo, kind of a little bit of everything in between. Got the occasional AK in here, mission models. So got a little bit of everything in there. And uh, down here I have more tools, solvents, um, glues, things of that nature. I got my Dremel back there. These drawers, drawers all carry various tools. These are usually ones that I don't use very often. So uh, they're not on my workbench, but really I've tried to make everything that I can reach uh, all while sitting at the workbench. Back here, I've got 3D printers. They are unfortunately not working at the moment, and uh, but hopefully we can get them working soon. Got some stash up here. Back here, uh, this set of drawers has all of my scratch building material in it. Uh, so I've got plastic and just random bits and bobs. Um, the top drawers have all uh, spare parts and and uh, random just random stuff that I use. <clears throat> More spare parts up here. Uh, this is where I keep a lot of my diorama and basing materials, uh, as well as spray paints. Um, emergency Aloha shirts. Never know when you're going to need more. Uh, this is my primary stash. So I got a lot of fun, exciting projects coming up there. Uh, this is my uh, my battle station, I guess. Um, so I do my day job here. Uh, this is my work computer and monitors. And then I have my personal computer and TV here. So spend the better portion of my day here, but it works and it's comfortable. Back here, I have my large display case. Uh, so I've got most a uh, good portion of my 70 second scale collection up here and then down here is 48 scale aircraft um, and i've kind of got some 35th scale armor thrown in here all of my sci-fi stuff and uh, two vehicles uh, i'm not much of a car modeler but i try to branch out um these so this is this is the U, the new jersey um, BB-62. I built that when I was about 16 and uh, my dad had it in his in his barn, his shed and uh, so I, I pulled it out and I think eventually I'm going to try and refurbish it. It's obviously you can see it's missing turret number one, turret three is missing two of its gun barrels and missing a whole lot of stuff and it's really dusty. Uh, this is a ship that I built for my father a number of years ago. Uh, it's supposed to be the USS Rocky Mount, which is the ship that his father served on during World War II. Um, and I'm going to refurbish that one as well and uh, make it more accurate to the ship that my grandfather served on. But that'll be a while. I have my second display case over here. So I've got more 35th scale armor up here. The uh, That is the Tempest from the Mass Effect series of video games. My uh, coworker, 3D printed it for me and then I assembled it and painted it. So kind of kind of happy with that. Uh, I've got some more 
just random stuff here with the, there's the Sullivans that I used recently completed some more 70 second scale aircraft 48 scale hurricane um, more 70 second scale aircraft down here and then some of my more favorite wargaming miniatures uh, there's different collection stuff down in there and um, so yeah I don't do much wargaming anymore but I still like painting and collecting uh, this is the bulk of my wargaming stuff uh, rule books and games and whatnot so keep it there whenever I uh, whenever I need it um, some more of my favorite wargaming miniatures that I've painted and uh, so that's about it that's the room again I'm pretty fortunate to have a space that I can be able to do this and uh, it's it's kind of in the the way that I want it now so anyways thanks for taking a look and uh, I'll uh, see you when I up upload the Tiger Cat video. Cheers.